Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're doing a makeover on Clover from my Whimsy Stories series. So she aged up into a teen last episode and I decided to skip out on doing a makeover in that video. Mainly because at that point I was already filming for so long. I think it was like over two hours and I was already getting frustrated with the whole, you know, grim situation going on with Jody. And so I was just like, yeah, we're just gonna not do it. And I thought I was just gonna do it off camera. But then I figured I would just film it because I feel like you guys enjoy watching makeovers and I personally love doing them. I just like seeing like the transformation process of Sims. And so that's what we're doing here today. I did originally start recording this in real time, but I was just so tired yesterday. Not to say I'm not tired today as well because I went to bed decently early and then I ended up waking up way too early, like literally four hours later. Uh, well, when I say decently early, like, is one o'clock in the morning decently early? I was, listen, I decided to watch the last episode of House of Dragon, and, oh, man, I am, the fact that I have to wait two years or so for the next season just breaks my heart because that show is so freaking good. If you guys have been watching House of Dragon, or it's House of the Dragon, I just, I don't, I forget that the the is there, but that's completely beside the point. Overall, the show was amazing, like, oh, Literally, I used to love Game of Thrones. I mean, I still love Game of Thrones season name, but like, you know, overall, really great show. And so when this came out, I was like, I was nervous I it wasn't gonna be that good, but man, is it good. Like, oh, oh, another freaking two years, 2024. Like, I'm waiting for you already. Like, please come faster. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys have been watching that show as well. Like, literally amazing. But anyways, Let's move on to our girly Clover. So we could clearly see that Rafi's genetics, once again, are coming in strong in this family. Like literally every kid looks like him. It's insane. I mean, I still think that each kid has different features from both parents. I still think predominantly, like you look at them, you're like, oh yeah, Rafi is 100% their dad. Like there's no doubt about it. But like, I feel like Sage is a nice mix of them too. Like you can definitely still see him in there, but uh, it's actually crazy to me to to see like how strong they are because I want to say I feel like I usually notice the mother's genetics on kids a lot of the time what I'm mainly thinking about specifically is like my not so berry and like mainly the beginning portion I feel like a lot of the kids took on their mother's genetics over the father also can I just mention this hair I've been dying to use it for so long like I've had it in my CC folder for I think I want to say like two three years now maybe more I don't even know I can't remember when that hair came out honestly but I love it so much. I need to make a sim using it at some point because it's too good not to use. But then again, I have so many other hairs. They're so good and I just have yet to use them. I'm just a CC hoarder and that's what it is, okay? We've accepted it and that's... <laughs> All I'm gonna say on that because it is what it is so uh, when it comes to her outfits I kind of wanted to just do different styles her first outfit ends up being like it reminds me of early 2000s like low-rise jeans which you guys will see in a bit I was debating on like doing like a skirt fit first like going all white which I think would be really cute but I decided to change that for another outfit so I ended up giving her I think four fits um, and one of them is her cheerleading outfit because I really want her to get into cheerleading because I feel like you know it already said um, with the mod that I have that she wants to be popular. So I was like, okay, let's just go with that route and we'll see what happens. So I'm kind of excited to kind of explore that part of her life, like her being maybe like the popular girl in school because obviously her brothers were not uh, and that'd be the complete opposite of what Sage is because he was more like reserved, but I can definitely see Clover being more social and maybe like going to parties or throwing parties even. I don't know, I have ideas in my head, but we'll see how all this pans out. Also, another little thing that I wanted to add to her was the necklace that Jodi wore. I feel like she would have given it to Clover, especially like with maybe her knowing that her time is coming. And so I decided to give that to her as like, you know, a little memory piece because I feel like I want to do stuff like that that are a little bit more sentimental when it comes to my sim. So I definitely wanted to like have that be passed down to her. But that wasn't the only thing passed down because she also got her mother's body type, which I didn't realize that that could happen with presets because Jodi had a body preset on. I didn't realize that it could also transfer to kids. Maybe I did know that, but I completely forgot about it. So I was shocked when I saw that. I was like, oh wow, like I didn't really expect for that to happen. And I think they also have the same lips. None of the kids really got Jody's nose. They all got their dads, which I mean is fine, but uh, I wish one of the kids like looked way more like Jody. but I'm still okay with them looking the way they do, obviously. But it would've been really cute to have like a little like 
full-on look-alike because I'll be straight up I already miss Jodi like even though we haven't been actively playing with her for a minute now like I looked back on photos to compare what Clover looks like now to when we were started off playing with Jodi and they don't look alike like barely to be honest but it just made me miss like the early days of us like starting her life and everything now she's just gone and like I hate when my sims die like I love having like long legacies but the worst part about it is having sims that you love die and I think that's also why with like my Tsukino household if you guys remember I feel like that's why I don't want to play them also is because I don't want my sims to die like I can't imagine Yui being dead so there's also that so maybe that's just like a little internal issue I have with my sims I just don't want to kill them off like even like in my cottage living series if you guys remember Arthur like oh I mean he was already an elder but he was so sweet and cute and oh he had to die because he was old so it happened. Actually, I do have another thing I need to ask you guys. I might actually also mention this next time I record Whimsy, but since Sage is supposed to adopt four kids, are we counting Clover and Basil as two more kids that he's adopted? Because he has taken them in officially. Like, we have also done the adopt as caregiver thing in game, so I don't know. Do we still count them? So does that mean we have three kids that we've adopted? Or do we still adopt three more kids? Because I don't know how long we're gonna have Basil living around as well. Like I have an idea for potential like stories to kind of continue because I low-key want to still have our Sims genetics go through the generations but I don't know how to go about it. Like I do have a story in mind and someone in the comments of one of my videos actually said the exact thing that I've had in my mind for a while now and I was so shocked. I was like, there's no way they completely like read my mind. It was insane to me, but I have an idea. So I don't know if I wanna follow through with which sim or if I wanna follow through with that idea completely, I don't know. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. I think I saw someone mention like surrogacy as well, but I don't know if that really count towards the adopting thing. Like I'm still not opposed to adopting more kids cause like they're not gonna live here forever. So I think over time, like he could still adopt more children. Maybe it doesn't have to be right off the bat that we have so many, like it could be once Clover and Basil move on, we can take in more children. That could also be a scenario. So I wouldn't be opposed to using a child that we adopted for the next gen but it would be nice to see the genetics continue if that makes sense but I don't know yet I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do also it is October and Halloween is coming up really soon and I haven't even done a Halloween create a sim as well because I don't have ideas usually like I have a bunch of things that I want to do but I am so lost and I want to do at least one Halloween create a sim so if you guys have any ideas for what I could potentially do that would be really helpful because I want to do one. I did like make demon sims like I want to say a few months ago. Like, I think it was during the summer actually and I never uploaded them. So maybe I'll do that but I'm not sure. That is pretty much it for this video. I'm going to have a screenshot at the end of all her outfits so you guys can see them all together. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.